Walmart workers and some union groups backing them are protesting across the country in their largest Black Friday demonstration ever. They're calling on Walmart to commit to paying $15 per hour and providing full-time work and fair schedules. Our John Gonzalez observed one local protest in Northwest Washington today. The timing here is no coincidence on what is the busiest shopping day of the year. Walmart employees are striking and tensions escalated quickly as protesters tried to enter the store here on H Street in D.C. They clashed with police. The doors were shut down temporarily. You were just trying to shop today. Yes, that's right. That's all we're trying we really to do. I don't appreciate that. I don't think that was nice at all. Who, who, on whose part? On the part. part. The we part. We couldn't even get out of the store. Yes. We don't even know what it's about. Touted as the largest Black Friday mobilization ever, calls are intensifying for Walmart's owners to commit to a pay raise for employees of $15 an hour and providing full time work. You can't even get an apartment for part time with $8. So it's, it's, it's hard to even survive. Nationwide, Walmart workers and their supporters are holding more than 1,600 of these protests at Walmart stores. The mega retailer currently brings in $16 billion in annual profits and asks these workers, they'll tell you most of them make less than $25,000 a year. But are these workers unfairly putting a stronghold on their employer? Ernest Reed is a worker who isn't protesting today. I make a great living wage at Walmart. The company CEO has said only 6,000 of the 1.4 million employees are paid minimum wage. Walmart has afforded me the opportunity that many other companies have not. I'm 62 years old. I'll be 63 in April. In Northwest Washington, John Gonzalez, News Channel 8.